Good morning, it's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Monday, May 25th, 2020. Thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm so happy that you are part of my life as well. Today is Memorial Day, it's a federal holiday, and it's a day that we remember uh, those who gave their lives in service of our country in our armed forces. And we'll be talking more about that as we go along. Uh, today, the church office is closed uh, because of the federal holiday. Um, so if you have questions or things that you want to talk about with the church office, um, save that for tomorrow if you could. Today also is National Missing Children's Day. So let's uh, all be in prayer for those children who are missing today and, and who are, need to be found um, by, uh, by their families. Uh, we do have a, a big announcement for you today, and I'll be talking about this throughout the week. Um, but that announcement is this, that we have found the place that our church will be worshiping together when we're able to gather again, worshiping together uh, at from the, time, from the time when we're able to start worshiping up until the time when our building is rebuilt at 35 DeGarmo Road. I'm happy to say that we'll be uh, worshiping in the sanctuary of Arlington Reformed Church. Arlington Reformed Church is on the corner of Raymond Avenue and Haight Avenue in the town of Poughkeepsie. Um, very prominent uh, location, easy to find. And um, uh, parking is a, a bit of an issue, but not that bad. And But the building is beautiful plenty of space, and we look forward to uh, partnering with Arlington Reformed Church uh, in the near future as we're uh, starting to, to be able to gather together uh, soon. Um, we'll be talking more about that as we go through the week. One thing that I want to announce is that we do plan to have a Q&A session, a live Q&A session, at some point near the end of the week um, when you can have a chance to ask your questions about this and uh, we'll have our, do our best to answer those questions. I haven't had a chance to plan that or put it into place yet, um, so please uh, be on the lookout for announcements about that. I look forward to telling you more about uh, our decision and, uh, and about, the, about Arlington Reform Church as we go forward. The passage that I really want to look at today is not from the sermon that I preached on Sunday. Um, I, I want to look at a passage that is memorial, that I think of every time it's Memorial Day. Um, and it's uh, John chapter 15, verse 13. John chapter 15, verse 13. And here's what Jesus says in John 15, 13. He says, Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Greater love has no one than this, than that someone lay down his life for his friends. Um, now, in the context, what is this talking about? Um, Jesus says in the previous verse, verse 12, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. So Jesus is commanding us to have the same kind of love that he has. To, to, and, and notice that how Jesus defines love here is not sort of a soft feeling, uh, a feeling of affection inside our hearts. Uh, what Jesus describes as love are actions sacrificial actions. He says, this is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. He's commanding that we love one another. You can't command feelings. Feelings are very difficult to command. So Jesus then goes on to say, greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. What does love mean? Uh, well, Jesus says the highest pinnacle of love is laying down one's life for one's friends. And Jesus then goes on to say in verse 14, you are my friends if you do what I command you. Now notice, uh, Jesus is linking now the notion of being friends uh, into the previous verse. He's saying, uh, in essence, he's saying, I am going to lay down my life for you because of my great love for you. I'm going to demonstrate my love for you, Jesus is saying, by laying down my life for you. And of course, we believe that the pinnacle of love is found in Jesus uh, giving his life for the salvation of his friends, of all those who would trust in him. Amen?
that's pretty awesome. Now, how does that apply to Memorial Day? Well, of course, on Memorial Day, we remember those soldiers, sailors, and other military personnel who did give their lives in the service of their countrymen. And the truth is, you know, we don't know what was going through the heart, going through the mind of every person who gave their life um, in service of their country. But uh, really, that's not what this passage is talking about. It's not saying that for every soldier, every sailor, every military personnel who is giving their life, who gave their life for their fellow country people, um, that they were somehow... Uh, in, at that moment of their death, that they were feeling a, a gushy, warm feeling in their hearts, uh, a feeling of, of warm affection. Uh, no, more than likely, what they were feeling was loyalty for their comrades. More than likely, what they were feeling was maybe a little fear. More than likely, they were feeling um, a whole host of emotions. Those emotions are not what's at issue here. What it's, what's at issue is their behavior. What's at issue is the love that they showed by putting their lives on the line. So as we remember those who gave their lives uh, to serve their country, uh, we thank them for their love and for their service, not for their emotions, but for their action. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that this is an example for us to follow, uh, that even those of us who are not in military service have the opportunity to lay down our lives for our fellow men and women um, every single day. We have the opportunity to show our love for other people. Yesterday I talked about how uh, we must not give in to a spirit of sneer, right? Looking down on those around us uh, for one reason or another. Um, but, but we need to sh instead demonstrate our love by laying down our lives for one another, being willing to sacrifice our lives, being willing to sacrifice our priorities, being willing to sacrifice even our very existences in order that other people may be loved and blessed. It's a tough thing. It is the road of self-sacrifice, and it is the road that Jesus calls us to. It's the road that we remember today as we remember those who gave their lives in service of our country. And it's the road that we, as Christians, must strive to follow each and every day. Let's just take a minute now and reflect on the self-sacrificial love of Jesus and to remember those who follow that path in laying their, down their lives to protect our freedom. Let's just take a minute to pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for, first of all and foremost, for Jesus. Jesus, who loved us so much that he gave his life that, he, that we might be saved. Uh, Lord, we know that greater love has no man than Jesus displayed by laying down his life for us. Lord, I am so grateful for the sacrifice of Jesus in securing my freedom uh, from sin, my freedom from guilt, uh, and securing my freedom to live as a citizen of your kingdom. And Lord, I am grateful that uh, for the men and women who gave their lives in service of my country, I am so grateful for the freedoms that are afforded by living in the United States of America, the freedoms that are protected 
um, by men and women in our armed forces, the freedoms that are protected each and every day by our citizens uh, who love freedom and who love one another uh, in sacrificial ways. And Lord, I thank you for our church, which loves one another sacrificially as Jesus commanded. I thank you for our church where we lay down our lives for one another day after day. And it's only in the context of life in the congregation, in the body of Christ, that we learn how to lay down our lives for one another day after day. Lord, I pray for the opportunity to regather. I thank you for Arlington Reformed Church, which is opening their doors to us as a place that we can gather when we're able to gather and worship you together. Lord, I pray that you would help us as we ramp up our plans to move into that space, as we uh, prepare for all of the, the things that come with that, um, Lord, and as we move towards uh, the situation where our church building is being rebuilt. Lord, we pray for your grace for the rebuilding. Lord, we lift up to you uh, all the folks who are struggling with coronavirus today, all those who are uh, sick. Lord, we pray for uh, Watawa Rogers' sister who is recovering from coronavirus. Uh, we pray for uh, Tammy Unterborg's friend Monica recovering from coronavirus. We pray for Sally Whitson's uh, brother Bifford, Lord, for his full recovery. We pray for those who are struggling with cancer, excuse me, including Brian Gerberich and Mark Gallo. We pray for Shirley Henry, Lord, for her uh, recovery from cancer as well. Um, Lord, we pray for Nicole Ferguson Rodriguez and her cousin Erica Henry as they grieve. Lord, as they grieve uh, the loss of uh, Erica's brother, Elon, who is Nicole's cousin, and as they're still grieving uh, Nicole's aunt, who, grie who passed in March, uh, which is uh, Erica's mom. Lord, we love you, and we love them, and we, we lift them up high, Lord, that you would protect them, preserve them, and comfort them at this time of grief. Lord, uh, we thank you so much that you are God. We thank you that you're a God who loves and cares for us. And we thank you, Lord, that you're a God who is with us every day. Lord, we pray uh, for our country. We pray for our state. We pray for our community as we struggle with this uh, coronavirus pandemic. Lord, please give us wisdom. Please give us grace for one another. And please be with us every step of the way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks, New Beginnings, for joining me today. I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.